What time is it? It's peanut butter jelly. I thought so. That's what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda. G E E K L I M A. The same on Twitter. And it's time for a movie review. That's what time it is. Let's go. y'all i had a sneak peek of the new star wars movie the rise of the skywalker this a couple days ago now let me tell you i'm not one of the kind of fans that has to have everything certain ways like people all the true they said the hardcore star wars fans was mad about the last jedi movie i enjoyed the last jedi movie now they got the rise of the skywalker i saw that I'm going to start off by saying I thought it was enjoyable. I thought it had, I mean, number one, the music. You know that composer guy that's done all the Star Wars movie. The music, they they set it in perfect. They give me the goosebumps. All the battles has the right kind of music to build up for everything. And while we're talking about the battles, this was visually outstanding. J.J. Abrams, I mean, he does all the Star Trek stuff and all that stuff. You know it's going to have the battle scenes that look amazing. You know it's going to have the visual space stuff that looks amazing, everything. But let's talk about the plot. I felt that this had a lot in it. It felt so much that this had, this plot had so much in it that it was like two movies in one almost. I'm telling you, it was like, was he trying to make up for the, for the fans in The Last Jedi? Some say yes. Some are saying it was just too much. I mean, it did. It had a lot. The story has the twists and turns. You're going to get the twists and the turns and, and and the shocks that you did in any kind of Star Wars movie. I mean, you remember they, the, the Luke, I am your father, and then they find out that Leia's the, the, the sister and all those kind of things from the plots of the, the previous ones. You're going to get that in this one. You're going to find out more about the character's backstory. Now, let's talk about stuff I didn't like. I know Carrie Fisher, rest in peace. I love her. It, you know, she's gone and they had to have her in this movie and they CGI'd her in and all that kind of stuff. I felt like it was artificial. I don't know. Like, I know it was artificial, but I, you know, Carrie Fisher and Princess Leia in the, in the movies in the past. She had that little spunk. She has that little sassiness, like she says some things that come out of her mouth and you're just like, oh, lay the little personalities. I know they had to CGI this into her, but they, I feel like they left out just that. It just seems so stale. They couldn't CGI in a little personality in there. I know she had plenty of footage that probably had all her personality. I know you people got made me get mad at me. The plot. There was some stuff about the plot that, I mean, I'm not going to give any spoilers. I won't, I won't do that to y'all. But there was some stuff about the plot where I'm just like, this don't make sense. I loved how they wrapped it up. I did. I liked the ending. I like how they did it. I like the whole wrap up. I like how the reveal and how it ended and all that kind of stuff. That was, that felt true like classic Star Wars to me. Disney Plus has The Mandalorian which I'm all about the Mandalorian. Oh, I'm John Favre, and then they got the Dave who basically studied under, you know, George Lucas, and he's he's producing and they're directing together and all this, and the Mandalorian's awesome. It's fresh, and it just has so much, and it gives you that Star Wars feel, and this movie did give me that, but I didn't feel like it had the freshness to it. I'm like, it was good. I enjoyed it. It had, like, all the Star Wars battles and stuff. I, I enjoyed it. But it's no Mandalorian. Now I know they're going to have some parts that people are going to get mad about. Especially they have one part. It was quick. You could even miss it if you you're, weren't watching real good. But they had a girl on girl kiss. And I know people are going to be like, Ah, oh, there's Walt Disney again. Walt Disney. Walt Disney. I mean, they got to have girls like in other girls in, this, in the Star Wars universe. Do your stuff, Disney. It didn't bother me. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I was like, oh. It took me a little about, that was, that part took me more by shock than the big major plot reveals did. I'm going to go see it again ASAP because I feel like there's stuff that I missed even watching it the first time that I need to watch again. Overall, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good ending for this trilogy of Star Wars. It's better than those first three episodes. Just saying. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. No spoilers yet. 
And until next time, y'all.